universe is a big place. We know it instinctively. It resonates on a deep level. We also hear about how big it is every time we go into a planetarium, take an astronomy course, or whenever we just look up at the sky on a clear night. But knowing something is big and being able to visualize it are two different things. When astronomers talk about the size of our universe, they love to use gigantic numbers to explain everything. To astronomers and cosmologists who work with this stuff every day, it makes perfect sense. To them. For the rest of us though, these numbers are so big we just end up with a blank stare on our face when we hear them. The problem is, they're just too big to be meaningful, and the study of astronomy is filled with numbers like these. So we go about our daily lives, driving to work, cooking dinner, posting our videos to YouTube, and it's all too easy to forget about the rest of the universe. It's too easy to become caught up in our everyday stuff. After all, we have much better things to do than think about how big the universe is. Let's not be too hard on ourselves, though. I mean, of course the universe matters. It's just that the numbers in astronomy are too darn big to get our heads around. Our brains aren't wired to visualize big numbers like 78 billion. That's the size of the universe, 78 billion light years across. Saying that number, though, doesn't really help, does it? Luckily, an image was taken that can help us see just how big that number is at a glance. In 1995, the Hubble Space Telescope stared, for 10 days, at a rather unremarkable patch of sky. The results were nothing less than humbling on a universal scale. Thousands of galaxies filled the image. Roughly 3,000 galaxies were detected in a patch of sky that looks completely and utterly empty. Let's take a minute and put this in perspective. We live on a planet, one of eight in our solar system. We'll miss you, Pluto. These planets orbit a rather unremarkable star. Our star is in a galaxy, one of 500,000 million in the Milky Way. I know, big numbers again, but bear with me. This is the Pinwheel Galaxy in the constellation Ursa Major, a galaxy much like our own. This is the largest and most detailed image of a spiral galaxy ever taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Every one of these points of light is a star. Every single one. Some are bigger and some are smaller than our sun, but they're all stars. Many of them have planets orbiting around them. Looking at this image, the idea that the Earth may be the only planet in the entire universe that harbors life appears almost absurd. It seems much more likely that there are many more planets like ours. Our galaxy is just one of many in our local group. And there are many, many galaxies. When we look up at the sky, we can see only about 3,000 stars on a clear, dark night. From that, it's easy to think that that's all there is. The universe almost doesn't seem quite so big. Now we know better. The Hubble Deep Field is one of the few examples that help us get our heads around just how big our universe is. The story's not over, though. Later, in September 2003, the Hubble did it again. This time, it looked at another unremarkable section of sky and stared at it again for a little over 11 days. They used improved detectors with different filters, and this time, they saw this.
This is called the Ultra Deep Field. It represents the farthest we've ever seen into the universe. Over 10,000 galaxies are in this picture. Every single dot, smudge, and smear is an entire galaxy. And each one of these dots has millions and millions of stars. Each star has the possibility of planets orbiting it. Each one with the possibility of a civilization. This is what we see when we stare at a blank spot in the sky where nothing appears to be. This is the number of galaxies in nothing. This is a picture of 78 billion light years. It's a picture of how small we are. It is the single most important image ever taken by humanity.